Morning everybody. So today I'm working on the core support for the CUDA. So this core support has got some rust damage in different spots over here, over here. And we kind of tore this up, uh, getting it out where it connects to the, um, to the, uh, we'll call it fender wells. So um, it needs some repair, some love, but this is a VIN numbered part. Okay, so it has the VIN number on the front right there. And it is one of the parts that um, we really need to keep with the uh, CUDA. So um, this part right here, this little piece of tin sheet metal, yeah, four, 400 and some dollars. So I can do a little bit of, it's, it's really solid everywhere except for right here, right here and what we've destroyed. So um, I'm going to repair it and um, then we can, you know, clean it all up, rust, rust prep it and um, get it in some epoxy and put it back. You know, we're gonna start building the front end on this. So we got the uh, K-member and we got the rails and the fender, the inside fender wells. We, we just need the shock uh, arches to come in yet. But so we can get this together when we get the, um, when we get this thing, uh, the rocker panels done that we can put this inside and get it welded up. So yeah, so we're, uh, starting to do little things on it as we go. And uh, we're going to, you know, go from there. But I'm gonna be on this today and uh, I'll get back with you when I'm ready to do some more work on it. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna move you back a little bit so you can see. Right here, I've removed this piece so I can fix this, this lower piece right here and rebuild this piece. So now I've got a smaller item to fix. Um, it, is, it needs this piece right here. So I'll cut this piece out right here like that, and I'll re-weld in a piece. Um, I'm gonna have to fix or cut this off, this end off, and put a new piece on. Now this just, you can see where my grind marks are. It's really got a mark for it. I know I'm 26 and 5 eighths across square from that side, so I know how to fix this. And this go right here goes to the top of this, so. Very, very easy, easy to put back in place. And uh, you, can, you can see the marks right there. So I am going to uh, 
now work on getting this. However, I am out of 18 gauge stock. So I'm gonna need to, um, I'm gonna need to get a new piece of stock and I'm going to uh, go have a four by sheet sheared into two foot sections so I can use it. Um, got that on order, just gotta go pick it up. So, yep, that's where I'm at today. Thanks for joining me so far. I'll get back with you when I'm back on this. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting this section out, this rusty section right here, so I can replace it. So I'm gonna cut on this line, um, this line, this line, and this line, because those are the lines that I need to follow to put that other piece on. So let me get in here. Past this rib because that's the strength and it's really solid right in this rib and this rib back here. So I gotta be really careful about that. Got this chunk off. I gotta get that little piece off it right there so that I can uh, put that back where it goes along this. this. This is underneath there. So from the underside, it holds wiring and hoses across to the other side. So I can't lose this piece. I'll put that up here. And we got the junk cut out of the section there. Got the junk cut out of this section right there. This was the garbage that was rotted out. So I got that, that out of there. So make it some headway. Got a piece of good heavy gauge, 18, 18 gauge steel. And I'm putting it in here in this section that I cut out. And I've got a new pen, so I'm right to the edge. And I'm just marking along here. So I got my rough cut there. So when I cut this, I'm gonna cut on the outside of these lines and that'll give me enough steel that I can go in there and I can lightly sand, sand my section so that when I put this up in here, it fits really nicely and then I can take and uh, do my welds all across the back and make it um, fit really well. So, this steel was from the CUDA, front fender. So, CUDA steel going back in the CUDA. You gotta like that. It's almost like it's original steel.
So what's really tough is making sure that you don't overgrind. So I'm not filling holes or blowing holes or anything retarded like that. But you gotta get it back in the same spot every time in order to get this to fit in there. So inside there, got a little bit in this section right here to here. Stick of my face right up next to the cutter. All right, so that fits really good there, everywhere down except for right here and right there. So this section right here and right here. Okay, that's ready to weld. Okay, before I weld it, I gotta clean all this out. I gotta take and uh, wire wheel it. I gotta take and uh, rust treat it. But that patch is done deal. Okay.